If your AI voice sounds like this, Have you ever wanted to create a faceless YouTube channel? But you want to make it sound unique like this. Have you ever wanted to create a faceless YouTube channel? You've come to the right spot. Today, I'll guide you step by step on how to transform your robotic AI voice into one that's so realistic, even your pet might raise an eyebrow. Stick around because I have a golden tip on how to add emotions to your AI voice with a single prompt. You will not find this on YouTube at the moment. So let's jump in. First things first, you need an AI voiceover. You can use Eleven Labs or any other text-to-speech tools that offer good voices. If you're looking for free, unlimited Eleven Labs alternative with realistic voices, I have carefully curated 10 of them for you to choose from. Check the video in the description. You'll definitely find a unique voice for your channel. For this video, I'm going to use play.ht. Sign up, paste your script, and pick a voice you like or create your own custom one. Once you've got your voice ready, generate the audio and download it. Awesome, now let's jazz up that monotone. Here's the magic trick. We're using the Lexus Audio Editor app. It's free and super user-friendly. Get it from Play Store or App Store. Open it up. Click here to load the file you've just recorded. Let's listen to the raw voice. Let me ask you something. Have you ever wanted to create a faceless YouTube channel, but finding the perfect voiceover tool feels like searching for Atlantis? I'm sure when we're done transforming this voice, you'll wish you could like this video 10 times. <laughs> I said it, I'm not funny. Anyway, we'll talk about my boring sense of humor next time, but for now, let's get to work. There are six settings we're going to cover to have that unique AI voice. Step one, let's play with the pitch. Click on the three dots, go to the effects section and choose change pitch. Lowering it gives a deep, rich sound, like it just finished a marathon. Raising it makes it sound higher. I usually set mine between a gentle minus one or plus one. If you go too far, your voice might end up sounding like a cartoon character. You can click the play button to listen as you made the changes. Next, let's speed things up a bit. Head over to change tempo and give it a slight boost. A plus one or plus two is perfect. Any faster and you'll sound like you just drank three espressos. Step three, let's tweak the speed effect just a little so it stays natural. I'm good with plus one. You can adjust it to fit your style. Step four, equalize for clarity. We're going to come back to this compressor later. When you open the equalizer, this is the default setting you're going to see. How you adjust these settings will depend on your AI voice and what you want. So you really want to take some time to play with those bars until you get what you want. Let's listen to the voice first. Without the equalizer, you have something like this. Let me ask you something. Have you ever wanted to create a faceless YouTube channel, but finding the perfect voiceover tool feels like searching for Atlantis? When we turn it on, we have this. Let me ask you something. Have you ever wanted to create a faceless YouTube channel, but finding the perfect voiceover tool feels like searching for Atlantis? For example, want more depth? Boost the left side for bass. Need clarity? Adjust the right side for treble. Keep playing your voice while you tweak these settings. Let me ask you something. Have you ever wanted to create a faceless YouTube channel, but finding the perfect voiceover tool feels like searching for Atlantis? Well, you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to reveal 10 incredible free text-to-speech tools that will transform your video. I'm sure you notice the difference. Once you're okay with your settings, save it as preset. I'm going to apply my preset at once. You can screenshot it. I won't sue you. Step five, compress for smoothness. Let's smooth out those volume bumps with compression. Go to compressor, set the threshold around minus 15 dB. Go ahead and screenshot my preset if you're busy and play around it later. Finally, this is where we add some flair. Reverb gives your voice a nice echo, making it feel like it's coming from an actual room instead of a cold cave. Tweak the room size, reverb time, and damping until it sounds cozy. Here is my preset. Now let's do a little comparison. Here's what we started with. Have you ever wanted to create a faceless YouTube channel, but finding the perfect voiceover tool feels like searching for Atlantis? And here's what we ended up with. Have you ever wanted to create a faceless YouTube channel, but finding the perfect voiceover tool feels like searching for Atlantis? Smooth, lively, and human-like. Okay, now let me fulfill my promise. How do you actually add emotions to your AI voice? It's pretty simple. Getting emotions out of any text-to-speech converter depends heavily on punctuations. But there's a bit of technicality around it if you want to do it manually. So for me to do it efficiently and save time, I use ChatGPT. I use this prompt. This is my YouTube voiceover script. I'm converting it using a TTS tool. I want you to carefully analyze the script and properly punctuate it to add emotions to where emotions should be expressed. Do not omit or add any word to the script. Update the punctuations only to add the required emotions. Paste your script. 
In a matter of seconds, ChatGPT is going to hand you a brand new script, properly punctuated to add emotions to your AI voice. And there you have it. Congratulations. You have officially upgraded your AI voice skill set. Wait, have you seen this video yet? If not, that's where you'll find free unlimited AI voices, just like the one you're hearing in this video. Check it out. It could save you hundreds of dollars.